Alright, hello everybody. Um, it's been a long time since I've uh, recorded one of these videos, but I um, thought I'd get back into it. And a little change of pace is I am going to, uh, I'm going to record myself playing instead of um, other people. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Can't expect I'll be the best since I'm uh, going to be talking about what I think I'm doing and um, the strategy behind it. Um, my main competitor is going to be I.I. Mino, but he might be AFK. So Leaf looks like he's doing well. Um, I'm obviously over here in Iran. This is the Fourth Crusade map. I'm in here in Iran. And, um, I might... Ooh, gotta save the gem, always. Um, these are big territories, so I'm not gonna be able to expand as fast as I want to. Um, there aren't really big territories up there. There aren't smaller territories up there. So I think I am going to have to, uh, just move out east. It's gonna put me into, uh, trouble zone. Nita Yarushi? Yoshifumi? I don't know. He looks good, so I I would like to run into him, but when I have obviously more territories than he does, so uh, I gotta expand faster. And that's um really the name of the game to expand faster, but it's not all expanding fast. There's a point where most people end up getting where you really can't learn to expand any faster, and um. As long as you know the tricks, like putting your Q to one half and your E to all, if you're expanding in every direction, you're pretty much going to have the same territories as everybody else. As long as it's like a fair map. Like I'm sure Nita spawned, I don't know, maybe in Greece, maybe in Anatolia. Uh, somewhere where there's a little smaller territories. But as long as it's fair, uh, I, um... A fair map, you're gonna have around the same amount of territory when you guys, when the empires end up meeting up and start fighting. So, um, I feel like expanding is a little bit of a barrier, but, um, it's a barrier you can practice away. And then there's a lot more stuff that ends up coming into play, like, um, land trolling. We'll explain that, uh, when I get there. Into, uh, the enemy's territory. Now, taking these cities, I have um, options. You can show your cities. I always do that because that's where you're going to expand to. Cities give a lot of um, territory. Now, you can see I have my general out here, in not near the front lines because I want to protect my general. But you also want your general to still be attacking areas because um, you can level it up, and um, everyone's general is going to be around the same level eventually. Um, but you don't want to be like behind that eight ball. And generals aren't, generals are really situational. They're really only good when it comes to like choke points. So, um, yeah, you gotta, um, you gotta make, first of all, you gotta make those choke points be a thing. Not every map has natural choke points, right? So you gotta create a Position your line that maybe you want it to be a little weaker. Because maybe you can't produce enough troops. But because there's a general there, it becomes a lot stronger. So, um... And then it becomes a battle of, like, who can outsmart who to try to snipe their general and kill him. That's always fun. So, um... You know, I'm bringing my general over here because this is a big territory here, Mosul. This one, um... He might be able to uh, create a defensive line, but I hope I can create it a little bit higher. So it looks like right now I'm the best person in the server. So you're probably going to have a uh, little bit of a alliance forming. So when you want to do that, if you're okay with alliances, which I am, I'm allying this person, Leaf Blocks. He's like my friend. We'll see. Hopefully he accepts it. Um, first of all, it will give me some viewpoint on the map. That I, um, they're like attacking leaf blocks. Well, then I know that's where they are, right? 
Um, and Leafbox looks like he's in a central area. So if they're in Anatolia, I'll know it before I get to Anatolia. Um, it's also nice to just help newer players, you know. And, um, yeah. So now I, um, the Caucus region has a lot of territories. But the problem is, is that you have to expand all the way up if you want a defensive line. That's what you always need to be thinking about. Like, where am I going to create the line at? Where are the natural barriers? Because you don't want to be caught um, behind the eight ball when, you, when the empires end up meeting up, right? Now, a lot of people have this thing called invisibility um, so that nobody knows where you are. Oh, so Nita is in Egypt. So since I have, look, I have 20, 40 more territories than him. So um, what do I want to do? I don't want to delay it. I don't want to risk him end up expanding more because this area has a lot of smaller territories that you can expand faster. I want to like get there right now and just take him out. Especially before Mino, I, I, Mino, this person who has 24 troops. Especially before they two um, start allies. I'm assuming I. I. Mino is in Greece, and they probably have close communication. So they might have already allied. But if I get there fast enough, they would not have. And that is where I plan to strike and get my victory here. Now, obviously, I'm bigger than both of them, but it doesn't really matter. If you're like, well, obviously it matters because I have more territories than them, and I can expand faster than they do. But... They can also land troll me. And, um, well, I guess we'll just explain it. Land trolling is kind of like where you, um, instead of creating a defensive line, or you can have a defensive line with it, but instead of worrying about your defensive line, you try to take a troop, like, while I'm taking this 85, 87, I could also send, um, these guys might, instead of like trying to create a defensive line, you'll see this in Conquest, which is just another mode. This is Kingdoms. Um, the AI is more aggressive in Conquest and does the land trolling. So if I attack like this uh, 91 here, this 91 over here would then attack here. And that's land trolling because now you're not worrying about what if I attack over here. You're um, trying to get deeper into their territory, mess up their supply lines. And um, make them worry about other things besides your empire. And when you do that, you make people distracted. Because people can only focus on so much or so, uh, so much, right? So, um, I don't know if I want to expand really into Anatolia here. I'm just going to like try to get some bigger tiles. And then I can uh, create a defensive line there. And um, then I can uh, go and attack area. Now, a lot of people think land trolling is, oh, it's only if you're losing. No. You should land troll no matter what. Always land troll. Um, if you're in more elite matches, maybe they won't be as successful at first. But holes will form. And it just becomes, instead of one big land troll, it becomes a lot of little land trolls. So that's always, um, it's always fun. Right? So leaf blocks is probably going to be um, expanding pretty slowly here. So that's okay. Um, I, I, Mino, and Nita are at war. Because you can see I, I, Mino lost like 10 territories. Nita gained them. So um, that's good for me because now they didn't realize that I'm here. Maybe they didn't care. Maybe they thought I was too far away. They weren't paying attention. You always got to pay attention where your opponents are, where they might be. This map has a few spawns. It's over here, here. Here, 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 and here. And maybe some other areas, like, um, you could also spawn here, right? So, um, there's more than, there's six players per server. And, um, there's only, and there's more than six spawns. So, you never know what's going to happen. But, you always have, like, the general areas where they're going to be. So, this guy's obviously in Egypt. Let's bring my general over here. See, what I'm doing is I'm taking troops from far places and just, like, go attack here. And then taking more troops, go attack here. And if, when you do that, 
I know it might seem a little counterintuitive, but by doing that, you can um, take a lot of territory without needing to pay attention and micromanaging the territory control. Now, as you get closer, you want to start doing something called autosend. And that means that your troops will automatically go to a, ter a certain territory. And um, what you want to do is you want to create like little supply depots of um, your troops. See how they they all go here. And then a whole bunch will go here. And then they, um, they expand to there. And then these guys expand there and these guys expand there. So why you do that? Is first of all, so you can have a central location where you're grabbing your troops. Next, what if the enemy gets past your lines? What if they start land trolling? Well, then you cancel a whole bunch of auto send, and um, but you still have a place to like fall back to, right? You never want your front lines to be filled with auto send because then that's just going to mess it up, and you won't have the troops in the places to um. Land troll. Land trolling is effective when you're going through like one, 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 and you're taking all those territories really quickly, and there's nothing I can do about it, and then I have to create a whole defensive line in my back lines. It's just not going to work. So what Meade is doing here is smart. He wants he, he realizes that I'm bigger than him. I'm twice as big as him. So what he's going to want to do is try to stop my um. It's going to want to blitzkrieg me. Just go for it. And see how far you can get before I can get my troops into position. Because people who are expanding fast usually aren't expanding in your direction. Because to expand fast, you need to expand in every direction, right? So it's going to take time to get my troops into the front lines. So what I did here is I pulled my troops back and found a little defensive line. And that's going to be a little hard for him to crack. So, see... He has 3,000 troops there, but I obviously have my troops supporting and coming in to reinforce this, so it doesn't really stand much of a chance here. He thinks he does. See, I'm not paying attention to my front lines, and I'm going to his back lines. And so now he's going to have to pull troops back instead of worrying about the crucial front line and breaking through. So all, it's a lot of little things that end up um, making a big difference in this game, which is why I really like it. So, you see here, he's going to try to flank me from Tripol uh, Tripoli. So, um, maybe I don't want my front tile to be the auto send tile, because you never know what's going to happen to it. So, um, over here, I went into creep, and now he's going to have to create, uh, Defenses for this. And it doesn't even matter if I like turn these back, you can do that by pressing Q. It doesn't matter what you where the troops go or um, if they do any damage. It's still it's it's distracting them. And it's making them pay attention about something else. And um you can only pay attention to as many things as possible, right? And he needs all his troops right here, right now. And if any troop is not there, then he's in trouble. See? I called his troops here. And, um, oh, look at that. See, he's playing it smart. He went across here, and he wanted to flank me. So now, I'm going to have to redirect some troops. Oops, my bad. Video kind of canceled there, but we're back. So, um, so I'm going to have to redirect some of my troops which I did over here, and now they're all going into Tarsus. So, um, right there. See, now you see I won this front line, and so he's going to stop supporting it. it. What he should do is he should retreat and try to find another deck. Um, yeah, so I beat him. He saw the writing on the wall. I obviously was going to pull back here. So what you want to do when you're smaller than a bigger person is you're going to want to fight in big areas where big lines are going to be happening. And the reason for that is because you're never going to win these bottleneck situations. I have more troops. I'll always produce more than you. And it's really hard to land troll in these bo uh, box situations. Now, his plan was probably to distract me here after he realized he couldn't blitzkrieg me. 
distract me here and then try to get troops through here and just have a field day. But again, with the sub supply depots, that's why I was able to redirect my troops so easily. So I'm redirecting all of these troops back here without having to actually do it. I only have to redirect a few territories. And so, um, it's always good to have those natural areas. So, um, Phoenix is somewhere. I don't know where Phoenix is. Probably in Greece. And there, he surrendered or left. And so I won. Let's give a little high five. Not high five. Um, so yeah, we won. That is uh, fun. It's a little bit about Territory Conquest on the 4th Crusade. Hope you guys learned a little something. Hope you thought it was interesting. And there's that. Thank you. And goodbye.